Hey there, tiny people trapped in the confines of my phone, laptop, computer, whatever the hell you're stuck in today. Today is another somewhat serious video, but I'm not going to play it off as serious because I don't think it needs to be. I think it can be lighthearted. Uh, today's video, I'm just, I'm just coming out because I've talked about it a lot, but I haven't like made a statement about it. And I've kind of never done that, even to, like, personal, like, connections. Like, I've never been forward about it. I've kind of, like, given a statement or whatever. Like, when I told my best friend, I was just like, Hey, dude, guess what? This is who I am! And then he was like, okay, cool. But I, I've never, like, actually talked about it. So that's what, that's what this is gonna be. Because I haven't talked about it ever. Uh, and I feel like doing that. So... Uh, en enjoy the the, the royalty-free music as I as I talk about my things. So to start us off, uh, I'm trans. Well, I guess gender neutral is the correct term because every once in a while I'm like I'm a dude, but I'd say like a solid eighty-six percent of the time. I'm I'm a cute little I'm a little I'm a little gal. I'm just a little just a little gal. Just a little just a cute little little doodad. Just a little just a little 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 little, little girl. Uh, but there are times where I feel more masculine and masculine presenting, and I try to be th what society thinks of me. I guess. And this is kind of an uncomfortable topic, and I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's that, which is incredibly difficult uh, here. For those who don't know, I live in the South. I live in a very rural, uh, old-school area uh, filled with homophobes, transphobes, racists, sexists. Uh, full-blown bigots uh, and people uh, for for like super narrow statement uh, the most racist uh, city on the planet uh, is l like an hour from where I am uh, and there are issues with like the people being beaten for just simply being different and like there's still like people's homes getting burned down and shit down here about that so like a little difficult to be let to tell all my friends and family huh here's this thing about me don't kill me uh so that's fun <laughs> uh next part because talking about transitioning uh talking about being trans why not now let's go talk about being gay i i'm, I'm a little fat bit <laughs> uh I'm not gonna actually say that word. I can and I do. Not here because I don't know if YouTube allows that. I don't know if YouTube's gonna let me say it, so I'm not going to. But for now, fab it. Baget. Uh, yeah, I'm a little gaybo. I like men's, and I like women's, and I like all the stuff in between, and all the stuff beyond. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Uh... If I had to narrow it down, I'd say I like more women than men. Um. But, I do like men's. Which, if I like more women, I guess that makes me even more gay. Because most of the time, I'm a woman. But, yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm just a little bit queer. Um. Which I also don't get to tell people a lot, because where I live, who I live with, what surrounds me. So that sucks. Um, and for those who do not know, uh, Finn has been the name I've chosen, and uh, it's helped me out a lot having people refer to me as that, and I appreciate that from all of you. And doing this has allowed me to be more of 
the person who I want to be and who I am, rather than the person that I have been and have been pushed to continue to be, and that means a lot to me. Uh, this has also given me the ability to conversate with people that are like-minded. Uh, for example, the Discord, which will be in the description of this. Uh, everybody over there is, like, nice. Nobody's mean about it. Everybody's extremely understanding, and... Vocally supportive. Um... And that means the world to me, because, uh, with this community, I, I do deeply want it to be supportive of each other. I, I've never once seen a comment on a video or a short of mine where it was people attacking each other or spreading hate about anything, and I'm so incredibly proud of that. Uh... On my old channel, the one that's still up, there were plenty of times where comments were overtly negative. And I don't mean about me. I get negative comments here and I don't, it, don't, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but it was negative about like whatever topic I was talking about. For example, there was a time that I uh, made a couple videos about Joe Rogan and I was just joking. And some of the comments agreed with me and were joking with me, but then there were some that were just being incredibly toxic towards him. Which, not like he's going to see it, but still. And then, alongside that, there was a time where I made a video about Sneeko, and I called him a cuck and all that. And it was completely, like, a bunch of jokes. And it was pretty obvious. Uh, and the comments were filled with, like, genuine hatred towards... Like, Sneeko simply due to him existing. And I agree whenever you have something that's genuinely fucked up about him to talk about. Like, that's fine. If he does something wrong, talk shit about it. But talking shit about, like, him just existing. Him, like, having darker skin than some of the people in the comments caused an issue. And then, like... Somebody was, like, pissed off about, like, a video he made about where he, like, shaved his head or whatever and, like, that dumb shit. And it's like, that doesn't make any sense. Luckily, the original video got taken down and I had to upload a, like, secondary version of it, which got much less traction and stuff. So that didn't stay a problem for too long. But here, I've never had anything like that. Like, uh, I I've never posted a video here and then had somebody comment something overtly toxic. Like... Toxicity towards me, I don't, I don't really care. Like, the, the comments about, like, my forehead and stuff, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Uh, I, I know I have a, uh, I'm part of the Cranium Clan. I can tell. You telling me does not matter. Uh, but luckily there's no, there's never been, like, people attacking each other in the comments here. Which is... Thank, thank you, Allah, my friend. Thank you. But g genuinely, thank you guys for being supportive and helpful of not only me, but of each other. Uh, and I think that's great. And in videos where I have been overtly positive throughout the video, or throughout the short, the comments usually were reflective of that in um, what I believe to be a positive way. Uh, and people commenting things... Usually, if it's, like, a ge Like, I respond to every comment, but if it's, like, a comment that's, like, a genuine, like, big thing, uh, oftentimes, it gets a lot of likes in the comment section, which makes me feel good, not only because it gives me that interaction, but also because it, like... It shows that you guys are, like, looking at those, which is great, because a lot of times, especially on smaller channels, you can't really do that. Like, a lot of people won't care about the comments, or they won't care about the descriptions of things, or they don't care about, like, other people in the community, and I, I love that you guys do. It means the world to me. Uh, so thank you for being such a supportive and positive uh, community. Now we're going to get back to me coming out, because I've talked about this enough.
Um, it's very difficult to do anything about it here. Uh, not a lot of people know all that information. Genuinely, nobody related to me does. No, my my little sister does. She knows, but that's because she like helped introduce me to all of this stuff. So I felt like she deserved to know as being like she kind of cracked my egg and shit. But other than that, it's like partners. Not that I have a, not that I had multiple at a time. Partners, as in like former partners, have known about it. Uh, my best friend knows about it, and then the people in the Discord know about it, and people here know about it because I brought it up a couple times. Uh, but it's very difficult to pursue. Uh, I can't exactly walk around with a pride flag in Arkansas. They'll burn it and then me. Um, and I sure as fuck can go away talking about trans people. Because you bring it up as a joke or something and people are going to fucking scalp you. Um, alongside my family being incredible bigots. Like, the, the type of bigots that... You're walking down the road, and they see a darker-skinned individual walking, and after you drive by, they have the audacity to talk about how that person deserves to be walking, or homeless, or out of food, or whatever, simply due to the fact that they're darker-skinned, which is fucked. Or the fact that my family is incredibly sexist and misogynistic, which is awesome. It's like my aunt and my father were both in prison at the same time. They gave a shit ton of money to my dad. They didn't do a damn thing for my aunt, simply due to the fact that he's a man. Uh, similarly, there's a lot of stuff like that with what they allow us to do whenever we're kids. They let the, they let the girls get away with everything, and they make the boys do a bunch of hard shit and put them through a bunch of traumatic shit, uh, which sucks ass. Which also makes no sense. Like, they treat the young girls like they can do whatever they want and they're perfect but then the moment they hit like 15 all of that strips away and it's just misogyny being thrown at them all the time which doesn't make any sense in me in my brain it's, it's like a inverse of what they try to teach the moment they hit like 14 um but that sucks also because of the the place i live uh it's very hard to find like-minded people that live anywhere near me uh, because you bring it up here and it's like somebody scoffs at you or even like somewhat close friends, not even figuring out, I'm sure it's just the gay part. It's like, oh, okay, so now I have to create a personality that is based around the fact that you're my faggot friend, uh, which is incredibly not cool, uh, incredibly not cool. And then those friends being uncomfortable around you due to the fact that you are this thing that you can't control. It's like, oh, you find men attractive? I'm a man. We obviously cannot be friends. <sighs> okay. It's like I fucking can't be me around the people who I want to be around. And that's incredibly fucked up and sucks a lot um and the next thing i want to talk about is people not being not validating me due to choices that i make for example some trans people need to go through a physical transition to be happy i don't I'm comfortable socially being a woman and physically being a man. I do not feel the need for surgeries. I do not feel the need for for any sort of hormone replacement. I don't feel the need to do that to validate who I am in my eyes. If you do, I'm proud of you for being able to admit that. And if you do, I will do everything in my power to help you get to that point in feeling valid in who you are. But I don't need it. And for some reason, there's a large group of people. It's probably just a loud minority. Uh, but they treat it like if you aren't going to get the surgeries and you aren't going to go on the onto the, the therapy and you're not going to take the pills and stuff, then you don't count. 
It's like, oh, you're gonna have a penis? You're obviously not able to, to say you're a trans woman. Or, oh, you're not going to take the, these, these months worth of things to figure out how to do this and then go through this surgery and stuff to make you look more like a man? You're obviously not a trans man. You're just a woman. It's stupid. And that shouldn't be how we look at people who don't want to... Like, I want to grow my hair out, and then I want to shave. And to me, that's enough to make me more feminine. I'm already petite and shit. I'm already short, skinny, I've got a slutty little waist. Like, I, I already have things that make me feel feminine. I want to grow out my hair, throw makeup on, and dress better, and I'll be happy. I don't need to go through... Uh, hormone replacement. I don't need to go through a surgery. I don't need anything like that to be valid in who I am. And neither does anyone else who believes that. But if you, as an individual, have an issue with your validation and you want the hormone replacement, or you want to go to uh, any other sort of therapy for it, or you want to get surgery done or whatever, do it. I don't think that's a bad option. I just don't want to do that. I think that is a really good option for if you are needing to feel validated in that. Alongside that, I don't like this idea that trans people have to be specifically one thing. Uh, because there are communities out there who are okay with one side but not the other. For example, there's a very, very large Twitter following that is happy to say that trans women are a thing and that they are women but then the moment a woman wants to become a man they say it's fucked up and that it's wrong uh which is incredibly stupid it's stupid it's irresponsible on pushing that, that negativity towards those people who do not fucking need it and it's incredibly like it's incredibly fucked up to say that one group of people can do a thing and another group can't and that one group is valid while the other isn't. That's fucked. That just shouldn't be a thing. Uh, it's, it reminds me, it's not the same thing, but it reminds me of like the straight white man who's into lesbian porn, but hates gay people. It's that sort of thing. It's like, on this side it's okay. This is not. Or the, the fucked up uh, reality that straight men, straight men, uh, will get into relationships physically with a trans woman, specifically to use that woman for sexual desires. And then the moment they find a real woman, they just throw the trans woman away, as if she never mattered. And that's incredibly irresponsible, not only of the, of the straight man, but also irresponsible of communities to say that that's okay. Because that's traumatic and incredibly, incredibly, I don't even know the right terminology for it. It's incredibly negatively impactful on this woman's life to do that because as a society uh, a lot and I mean a majority of people and the people who disagree are fucked up a woman is not a sex toy that is a statement that is completely true and should be true in every single community if you have a thing where you specifically want to have a sexual relationship and you are a woman and you are down with that that's cool but the people who think that that's all women are, are fucked up. And that's what they're pushing on trans women. They're pushing this idea of you aren't a fucking person. You're an object to be used and then thrown away. Which is fucked up. Like, that's fucked up. Like, that's genuinely fucking stupid. Uh, and I cannot believe that as a society, we're okay with that sort of group spreading that sort of thought across an area where millions are gonna see it. It's fucked up. 
Uh, and that surrounds every community. It's not just gay people. It's not just trans people. It's not just people in, in like that umbrella of people. It's literally every single group has a group in it that's like, nope, this stuff's okay and this isn't. Even though they're the exact same fucking thing. That's fucked up. It shouldn't be a thing, but it is because we fucking suck as a as a as a species and as a as a society. And if you are, hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to put this. If you are religious, and your religion is, if your religion views uh, gay people or trans people or whatever in a negative light. And you are respectfully against it. Then I have no problem with you. I, I have no issue with you. As you are respectful about it. Such as the uh, minority of Christians. Who are okay with gay people. But they understand that it is against their religion. And they are not. They express respectfully. That they are against it. But they are not. Uh, homophobic in any way, shape, or form. They are not uh, silencing groups in any way, shape, or form. They are not causing a structural issue within those groups of people by attacking them verbally and physically. Uh, they are not committing hate crimes, that sort of thing. That's fine. If you are in that group of people and you are a Buddhist or you are a Muslim or you are a Christian or whatever the fuck and the umbrella that you are in says that being a homosexual is not okay in the eyes of this thing, this thing, or this thing and you are respectful good. Scoot aside nobody has an issue with you and if they do that's okay. I don't. Scoot aside. But the people who use their views politically, religiously, whatever and they take it and they throw it at these people and they use it as ammunition and they attack and they pry and they harm physically, emotionally, uh, verbally, uh, whatever they do in a super negative fashion that is incredibly harmful to this group of people, you are doing what your religion is built to not do. Like... Uh, Christians is the easiest example because I live with a bunch of them. You are using your God-given right to attack a group of people. Which is the thing that you get pissed off about when other countries and other religions are upset with you. You're a hypocrite. And not only are you a hypocrite, you're a fucked up bigot. You're a fucked up bigoted hypocrite. And you're just being a fucking idiot. And you're attacking these people who are completely innocent. And then they bring up the, the thing of like, Oh, well, gay people are infecting the youth. Cool. So are straight people, you fucking ignorant bastards. Like, look. Look into the to the scale of people in, in like, things that are harmful for youth. And a majority of them are straight. And a majority of them are adults. When you look at violence stuff, right? Of people hitting their children, like full-on abuse. Not spanking. Not like a pop across the jaw. Abuse. A majority of that is straight people doing it. Not gay people. When you look at people that are sexually assaulting and raping children a majority of the time it has nothing to do with the child's gender it's specifically a power thing and you can be like oh well this guy he he messed with a man and, and that that little boy got messed up forever cool if that was a woman the same fucking thing would have happened you just wouldn't have looked at it the same because you have a fucked up mind and that shit stupid Uh, I've been ranting for a, a wee bit too long. I expected this video to be like 15 minutes. It's been almost 25. So I'm going to I'm gonna slow down. And I'm going to thank you all again. And then I'm going to end this one. I'll move on to something else. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for listening to me rant. 
Thank you for being so incredibly supportive of me and my views and what I want to do in life and who I am. And thank you especially for being a loving and caring community that is able to accept people into it. And that means the world to me. So thank you all so much. Also, also, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of gay.